Hello. How's everybody doing? I'm, am I late? I'm one minute late. I had to get my tea warmed up. <clears throat> I need that. Uh, so it's beautiful Monday morning. Oh, Monday afternoon, actually. And uh, we're going to do a fun project today that I've not tried before. If you're just joining, would you please hop on? Let me see if we went live here. <clears throat> oh, it says it's broken. I don't know. Maybe I'll have Bill check real quick. <clears throat> Thought I'd try and do it on this little phone here. And see. Oh, good. I am live. Hi, Barbara. Nice to see you. We're going to try something fun today. I'll put you down here. So, um, I love this transfer. Kind people are my kind of people. This would be great on a t-shirt, too. And I have a t-shirt that I might try putting that on. Um, but I've seen... Robin Schmidt is another designer who I like to follow because she is ultra uh, creative. And she does something called a paper towel press. And so what I have here is, um, it's a one of our palette boards. It's double-sided. Um, and I actually had uh, some adventure thing on here. You can see a little bit of it still there. Um, but because I wax my surfaces, I was able to take our board eraser and uh, clean it off in the kitchen. It came out, came off perfect. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use some acrylic paint. I have this really pretty um, lavender. Maybe we'll try a couple of colors. I'm try lavender and this teal blue. So let me get this, see if I can get this opened here. <clears throat> How are you doing today, Barb? So what we're going to do is get our brush nice and wet. Got a little bowl of water here. And this is just acrylic paint in matte. I like the matte. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this paint on our brush. And then just, it's like watercolor. Just get it on here. Just get some hues in there. We're gonna sand the edges when we're done, too. Let's get a little bit of this blue for some contrast. And it just takes like a little tiny dot on your brush. And we want water on there because we're going to do what's called a paper towel press. Let's get a little bit more on here. The paper towel will um, pick up some of that too. Okay. I haven't tried this before, but I've watched Robin's videos and it, it puts a nice um, design in the background. But like I said, I haven't tried it before, so we'll see. So then you just take your paper towel and make sure it's one that doesn't have words in it. This is like just a generic paper towel. And then press it down. And then we're gonna pull it up. And it just leaves a very faint design. I like it. Let's get this side over here. Okay, that one not so much. 
It's just a very faint. I think what we'll do is put a little bit more color down. Let's put some more of the lavender in there. Oh, that's a lot. That's too much. I'll try it again. Another paper towel here. That's a little bit better. I'll hold it up in a minute after I'm done here so you can see what we're doing here, what happens. That's better. Okay. So, I don't know if you can really see it. Can you just sort of see those little designs in there? Now I'm going to dry this. It's just fun to do something a little different and it puts a little bit of uh, texture on the background. Doing good? Good. Thanks for hopping on. Those almost look like, well, they're circular, but in some places it looks like butterflies. can see it's a little bit I don't know can you, you can see it just a little bit right there but it's real faint and it's all over so I kind of like it let me clean this off okay now we're gonna lay a little bit of wax down So because I put acrylic paint, it is, I think it's water soluble. Um, actually, I don't know because this one is outdoor. But, you know, if I wanted to reuse this surface, I would just sand it down because I like the sanded down look also on this board. It reminds me of rainbow colors. Keep this out because we're going to need this again. Paintbrush in my water there. That's really pretty colors. Fun, fun, fun. Washed my fuzzing cloths this morning. They needed it. They're still a little damp. 
All right, let's do kind people. I was thinking about even putting this down. I don't know if I'd be too busy with these this small of a font though. But maybe if we did this in white, it would give us some more. Let's try it. What the heck? You know I like to try things. Let me get my marker. What is this little design called? Seeing spots. Looks like raindrops to me. Do that and we'll do that and use that regal purple. I don't think I've used it yet. That'd be pretty. Something totally different than what I normally do. Let's just mark this one while we got this. Kind people. Definitely going to put this on a t-shirt or a bag. Uh, you know, one of those canvas totes. I'd like to see. That would be good on that, too. I've got all my devices plugged in because I forgot to um, charge them before I started. Find a corner and roll it up. Oh, that's a nice sticky one. We have sunshine out there today. And um, it said 50% chance of rain. It's kind of breezy. And then they said Friday and Saturday, they said 70% chance of snow. But we're ready for spring. I saw our little... Um, yearling deer from last year that was really hung around our place was so curious about the barn cats and the chickens and um she would come and see if there's any leftover chicken food every day and <laughs> she's back and she brought her mama with her they're so beautiful they did well through the winter it looks like well it was a really mild winter so There's that soothing sound. Oh, I love it. It's very zen for me. Okay, let's do this. Let's just set this down here. This board, it's pretty good if you, um, where the little um, nails or staples are in the board, if you line it up with that, you're usually pretty good. Just look at the sides. Okay, oh, that's crooked down there, darn it. That looks good. I'll press it out. You've been playing with your your new things, Barb. Having fun. Do you need any help with anything? Oops, I get that corner down. Okay, so now we're going to do um bright white, I think. We'll see how this comes out. I need to order some more white, I think. Let's start. 
stir this up. White is a really good staple to have on hand because you can, um, you know, with any of your other pastes, you can use the white to change the uh, color, the tone. Let's get a bigger squeegee. And just see how this. Boy, this the new paste, it really um, glides on so nicely and so smooth. So with these palette boards, you know that you have um, sometimes the they're not always evenly planed. So I was a little hesitant about that small font because sometimes the letters kind of get, um, I don't know, they get, you can see where this line is here, where the, um, so if there was letters there, it could get kind of globbed up, I guess is a way to say it. So we're just adding layers of texture to this project today. That's good. That looks like raindrops to me. That's good. I'm gonna wash this. I have my pan of water here. <clears throat> Put the lid on this. this desk off a minute so we have room. I'll scoot this over so I can show you over here what I'm doing with my board eraser. This is just a pan of warm water and I just wipe the paste off the top of it. <clears throat> the reason I used acrylic paste, uh, acrylic paint, for the um, paper towel press is if, um, because you can paint with our chalk paste when it's watered down, but if after I went and laid um, that on top of it, it would have um, it would have gone away because the paste would have been reactivated with the moisture. So that's why I used acrylic. Over, get my fuzzies off of the back. There you go. What did we do on the front? We got a little bit of paste over here still. Let's see if I can uncrimp that corner so it lays flat when I put it away. There we go. Hang this over the edge here to dry for a few minutes. Set this back over here. And we find a towel. Here's one. Oh shoot, I got water on that one little drop there. Okay, let's dry this. It's not going to really matter because we're going to do a little extra, something extra too. I 
have some little beads of water from my, I guess I dripped. So the new Creamy Dreamy, it does take a little bit longer to dry. Okay, so this is what we have so far. It looks really pretty just like that. Yeah, I really like that. <clears throat> Now let's get that other transfer. Let us see if I have picked out a few different ones. This one might actually be a better choice for this. Oh, I like this one. Let's do this one. I like it because the font is, I mean, I like all of the transfers, but the font is um, bigger. I do like this one a lot too. Let's, let's see. I'm going to go with that one. Bless this day with grace and gratitude. That looks so pretty. If I do say so myself. Done this one before? I don't think so, but it's, it's like maybe we were gonna do it. it. Looks like it's been used. No, I just I just wrote on the back of it already. Okay. Um, so what we need to do first is put another layer of wax over this paste, and I'm debating on whether I want to sand this down a tiny bit in the center. Feels so nice. Hmm. No, I'm afraid to. So I'm just gonna put a little layer of put some wax on here to protect our layer of paint. Try to get a good picture of this so you can see, because I can see the paper towel press behind it, and it looks cool. I know what we're going to do with this. We're going to do a hot mess using some of the same colors as the background. Fun, fun, fun. So I did get my YouTube channel going, and I thought that I could um, 
record live simultaneously, but it said only one or the other today, so I decided since I'd already posted I was going live on Facebook that I would go live on Facebook and then just post the video on YouTube. I'm learning, you guys. I'm learning. I'm getting high tech. All right, that's good. Let's get, I get, get myself straight. Maybe I can uh, get my transfer on here straight. There we go. That's the ticket. Okay, now I'm going to pick out some fun colors. I want to use this. I don't think I've used this regal yet. Maybe. Oh boy, it's really, really dry though. It's my little stir sticks. really needs work. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I left my water somewhere. What other colors do I have that we could do? Couture. Well, let me just run and get my, water, my spray bottle real quick. I left it in the kitchen. three colors so we're going to use regal and I might Let's see if I can get this reconstant I had the immersion blender out today so I got the um I don't know oh, that says ink what it's doing out there We're not doing ink. I took the eucalyptus um, that I used yesterday and um, got it all stirred up nicely with the immersion blender. This will this will work. It just needs a little bit more water. So obviously these are, you know, I had a nice inventory of the paste before they changed it. So I've got to use what I have, use them up. Almost there. That'll be okay. And then let's get our teal. And one more color. What other color should we use? See the difference? Day and night. Night and day. Barb, if you're still watching, did you get that replaced? Did you get your replacement paste? I think they were sending it to you, so I hope that you got it. Okay. Um, one more color. 
Maybe ocean mist. Just for some lightness in there. Okay, we're good to go here. We'll see how this turns out. I'm, you never know. Just gonna put some of this on here. That's a lot. Okay. Let's do this. of our regal. That's a lot. The ocean mist is kind of a lavender looking blue. It's enough. Let's get a big squeegee. And just start swirling this in here. the way that sounded. And let me get a little tray and scrape this off. Our harsh lines. Make sure we got all of our places covered. That came out a pretty color. Let's do our peel and reveal. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> Every time I say that, that is beautiful. Let me close my paste up here. Give it a try, whispered the heart. Wash this transfer really quickly. Drip over here for a second, and I will <clears throat> dry my hands and clean my area off so you can see how nice it is. The, using the three colors for the hotness really works out nice. Backer sheets. Okay. There it is. It came out so pretty. It came out really nice. Let's dry it a little bit so I don't accidentally smudge it.
colors. I like it. Let me know if you like it. So come up here for a second. Okay, well that was the project for today. How long did we go? Uh, 36 minutes, not bad. And we so we did three layers. We did the paper towel press with acrylic paint. And you can really see it over here. There's kind of pattern right here and a little bit over here. I like that. And so we used uh, two different colors of acrylic paint on the um, palette board. We waxed it, then we laid down the uh, dripping dots or raindrops it looks like to me. And we waxed it again, and then we laid the, um, the Bless This Day with Grace and Gratitude transfer down on top. And we did a hot mess using three colors. We used Regal, uh, Couture um, Teal, and Ocean Mist. And it came out really nice. So that's it for today. I will be back tomorrow. I hope you have a beautiful evening. If you have any questions... Today is the 15th, so there's a few more, there's two more weeks to take advantage of Club Couture. It's $19.99 a month, it's a three month commitment, but you get the uh, Club of the Month transfer, three coordinating paste packets, a catalog, if you don't have one already, and um, that is shipped free, and then it's also a flat rate shipping of $4.95 for anything else you order. So if you have questions about that, or you're not sure, and you have questions, let me know. I'd be happy to answer those for you. Okay, have a great day.